What's up guys, thanks for checking in for another video. We're back with the 240, hopefully, uh, yeah, more of me saying I'm gonna cut this out. So, uh, just gonna try to bust this out, or, you know, finish up what I can, so I can have all the reference points. I still have to get the bottom headlight brackets. Uh, so I got the top headlight bracket, going for the bottom headlight bracket, and uh, a few more supports. All this is kind of just tacked in for now. Um, but the first thing first is going to be putting the end plates on and uh, reinforcing that area and try to then get the uh, vertical supports from here down to the frame rail and all that. So um, I hope you're liking the content. If you want to see more of uh, construction stuff from yesterday's video, let me know as I mentioned in uh, yesterday's video. So um, yeah, let's get going on this and uh, keep busting forward. I know it's kind of been a little repetitive, but uh, once this whole area is done, a lot more is coming. Uh, got the engine uh, coming, I got a lot of parts coming, fuel system, uh, cage, all that good stuff. So uh, content's coming soon. But I uh, first got to button up all this before I can jump to any of that. So um, let's, let's get it, I guess. So, all right, see you guys. cleaned up and got the template cut out or drawn up rather gonna cut it out and then trace it onto some steel plate and cut it out polish it tack it on and then repeat on that side so uh, it's a process as you guys can tell but the reason I'm doing this is these areas on the frame rails we want to end cap them so they'll support a front bash bar as well as um, going to put some angle iron to kind of support everything else once I put the uh, cap. So this will be capped and then I'll put some uh, angle iron. So that's a 90 degree uh, piece of steel plating that will go here. Um, so that will bring all this together, probably do something from here over and down and maybe something on the bottom side as well. Um, this all will reinforce the like original and OEM uh, frame rails and uh, kind of the front support. I've already tacked on a uh, piece here to support the weight and tension of the front loop using it as a mounting point. So it's all kind of getting tied into each other. So it should all, you know, support itself nicely and take an impact nicely. Well, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I don't crash much, but I'm gonna, Get some uh, KBD uh, body panels so you can beat the shit out of it and it should be all right. So uh, I have to order those tonight probably so I can actually fit everything. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this out, trace it and keep moving. So, gonna cut this out, polish it up, tack it on, keep moving, and uh, yeah. Awesome, battery gonna die soon on this. So, gonna charge up this camera. You'll probably see a change in uh, quality as I jump between cameras tonight, because uh, this shoots in 4K. I don't think my other ones will. So, anyways. Ta-da, 240, yay! Anyway. All right, so I was just listening to Give Me Shelter uh, by the Rolling Stones. Can't help but notice, but this album cover kind of looks like Trump. Yeah, I don't know, I'm being weird, whatever. Anyways, 
Got the uh, two end caps cut and uh, kind of fit to shape. They're still hot, so don't want to touch them. So they're cooling down. I still need to clean up this side. Um, this side's already kind of prep. I'm probably going to clean it up a little bit more, use it. But um, yeah, it's. It's getting there and uh, gonna keep moving forward. But you know, as if you've ever done any uh, metal work yourself, guys, you know it takes a while to get anything done. Um, just with all the prep work and uh, just making sure everything's fit right. Uh, just because you can't really go back once it's welded in, cutting things out just makes everything get botched up. So uh, just taking my time. So uh, yeah, 240 coming along like a lot of other YouTube pages but uh whatever they don't have a Lamborghini Huracan also in their page so uh I think I'll probably post some uh Lambo content coming up soon uh the weather's getting a little bit nicer so I'll figure something out for you guys let me know uh leave a comment come on guys I've been asking for it let's leave let's see some comments so thanks guys Okay, so we got the uh, end caps welded up and uh, waiting for them to cool down a little bit. I know I could grind them and that would cool it, but uh, I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit and then grind the ends to uh, weld up the uh, uh, angle iron. So that's gonna be the 90 degree steel plating that will go on the ends. Um, that will connect the Front portion right here, not gonna touch that because that's super super hot. Front to the corner, and that just kind of uh, allows more support to be integrated because I'm going to be mounting a front bash bar from here and over there. Uh, I also got this front area kind of bash bar proofed. I'm gonna be putting a triangle support behind them. Also going to be cutting this out. But, uh, yeah, just been uh, adding to the weight until I have everything supported and properly mounted and then I will start cutting everything off of it as mentioned before so yeah I'm just gonna keep working on this and get going with it but uh, if you're enjoying the content leave a comment if you're building your own 240 leave a fucking comment leave a damn fucking comment anyways gonna keep building gonna rock uh, rock out with another uh, time lapse so I can keep listening to uh, my podcast I, I'm a big fan of. Uh, shout out to Joe Rogan, big fan of uh, his podcast. That That's the thing that kind of gets me through this and all of his other friends podcasts, uh, Bert and Joey Diaz, stuff like that. So anyways, uh, check out those channels if you're looking for a podcast. Anyways guys, gonna keep moving with this and rock out with another time lapse. See ya. Hello. 
up. Gonna be putting a angle iron right here to support that. Just debating on if I want to cut out this portion here and extend it or do a separate piece right here. Um, the issue is incorporating this right here. Um, obviously this is gonna be a structural weak point with all this uh, tension here. So the idea is to have a vertical kind of right here to there and then a cross from there going over here or from here to over here, something along those lines. Um, just trying to sort it out and uh, I'm sure I'll have it going soon. But uh, until then, lots of planning, 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 planning. That's what takes so long with these builds. Just trying to make it look right, work right, and uh, ultimately be safe. So um, we're gonna keep polishing that one up. Got to cut out the old battery tray to really work on that uh, passenger side. Uh, and still gotta figure out if I'm gonna cut that tab or what. But I'm gonna harass my girlfriend for a moment. And that's not camera friendly, not YouTube friendly. <laughs> Few inches later. So that kind of wraps it up for tonight. I'll probably pick this video up tomorrow uh, instead of posting this as a short video. Um, we're getting some margaritas and nachos. And uh, maybe we'll film a little bit at the house fucking with the huskies because uh, my dogs are adorable. But uh, anyways, get, gotta get packing up and uh, get going. And uh, see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Stop it, stop <laughs> it, it's the camera, oh no.